I had somebody ask me, how exactly do I do in and out? Um, basically selecting only a part of the timeline, because let's say that I have something going on here and I don't want anything past this part. And you're looking around and you probably use many other, um, you know, editing softwares and you're thinking, well, where's the in and out tool? Like, where can I select? It's not over here. It's not over here. How do I use it? Well, actually for you to export, um, and you don't want to export the entire timeline, you simply just have to use the in and out, uh, shortcuts, which is what I've been using. So for example, I could go here and let's say I don't want anything that is before this line. I could press, I could press I. So now that I press I, you will see that this is slightly grayed out and it'll have this, it'll have this icon here, basically showing you this current area will not be exported. And so when I export it, you will not see any of the information, any of the content on this side. And because I didn't put an out automatically, the end of this video is an out. And so it shows us here. If I want to, if I want a section and I want to put it out, all I have to press is O, right? So I and O, that's all I need. If I go here, I press I for N, then it changes the endpoint automatically. So I don't need to cancel in and put it back. And let's say that I'm doing this. I mess up and I say, well, I want the entire timeline. Well, I could simply go over to this icon, click cancel, unselect the area, and now I'm able to export the entire content. So that is how you export a selected part of the timeline in CapCut.